Thank you very much for staying tuned to Good Morning Vale. I have my friend on the line right now. Joel Gratz is on the line. He's from OpenSnow.com. It is the absolute best anywhere you want to go. It's the absolute best online to get your snow forecast. Joel, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Glad to have you here. You bet. Thanks for having me. And I, that's not just because you're on the screen with me. That's <laughs> actually true. I look at you for basically anywhere, you know, not only Vale and Beaver Creek, but you can do uh, through your website, you can do pretty much anywhere that you want to go. Thank you for doing that as well. You bet. We're, uh, we love POW here <laughs> at Open Snow, so we're looking for it everywhere. You do love POW. That is true. And we were talking just a little bit earlier. We're just a couple hundred miles from Good POW. Everybody around here is, you know, they're all washing their cars and praying to Uller and doing snow dances. It's literally just a couple hundred miles away. Yeah, that's right. And that might sound like a long distance, but in the scheme of the atmosphere, a couple hundred miles is really not very much at all. And so the storm track for the first part of this season, the early season, has been just 200-ish miles to our north. If we were just a bit further north, uh, we wouldn't need to be uh, washing our car, at least to bring the snow, because the snow would already be here. So we're close. It's the old close but no cigar just yet. But uh, I think we have slight changes coming our way, which uh, I, I have not lost hope. Well, and Joel, I just looked at your update for today online, and you changed things around. We've got two kind of weak storms coming our way, but you said it perfectly. Any flake we can get right now, we'll take it. A flake is a flake. <laughs> Every flake is a good flake, that's for sure. So we have two weak systems that are going to be cruising past northern Colorado this week, one on Wednesday night, another on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Uh, I'm not super uh, excited about deep powder from either one of them, but every flake is a good flake, and each storm could deliver somewhere between a coating and two to three inches. Uh, so there might be uh, a little bit of fresh snow on top of groomers on both Thursday morning and Sunday morning. And the other good news from both of these systems is that they will cool temperatures, so snowmaking will be ongoing. And that's the other, you know, good thing. Even though we're in a dryish pattern. Uh, snow, it's cold enough for snowmaking, and the sun angle being late December, mid-December, late December is still very low, so any snow that does fall will generally stick around on the slopes and not melt. So those are, those are the silver linings uh, for the next week. Well, and that's absolutely true. We were just showing our five-day forecast, and we are calling up here. We're calling for that snow on Saturday. I love putting that snow icon on it. You know, I kind, of, you know, I kind of just massage that snow icon, try to spread it out, see if it can be a few more days. At the end of the month, we do see a shift. Right now, the jet stream is way east of us when it makes its southern swing. All of that kind of shifts at the latter part of this month and drops things back into normal back toward our region. Is that right? Yes, and it looks like somewhere between about December 22nd and the end of the year, the pattern will shift. We'll see more moisture hitting the western U.S. And while it's too soon, I mean, we're still 10 to 15 days away from that. It's, well, it's too soon to know how exactly that new pattern will translate to snowfall at Vail. Uh, really, we can, we can just go upward from here. So I'm hoping that this new pattern with a more direct feed of moisture into the western U.S. will bring one, two, three storms to Vail uh, toward the end of the year, the last kind of seven to ten days of the month. And, uh, and that will kick us off just in time for holiday week. It's, uh, again, I can't tell you specifics, what days, how much, any of that. Uh, but there will be a change later this month, and I'm hoping for the best. Sounds great, my friend. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Joel Gratz, OpenSnow.com, the absolute best. Thank you, my friend, for being here. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Vale.